Good morning from the Western and Southern Open, where we've got your Tuesday top five after an action-packed Monday in Cincinnati. Number one. Yesterday's order of play was one for the ages with incredible matchups everywhere you looked, and the action shots on the court and off said it all. From agony to ecstasy and every emotion in between, tennis never fails to bring the drama. Number two. Andy Murray is a legend, and if you needed any more proof, he sat down with us to read some less than favorable tweets from the past decade. And the results were as hilarious as you might imagine. Andy Murray definitely hasn't got the hair of a champion. Hashtag ATP. No, I do not. I do not have the hair of a champion. Uh, that's, that's true. Number three. Yesterday was Tony Trabert Day around the grounds as we celebrated what would have been the Cincinnati tennis legend's 91st birthday. The Hall of Famer was a 10-time Grand Slam champion and a two-time winner right here in Cincy. Trabert passed away in February, but his legacy undoubtedly lives on. Number four. After runs to the Toronto semis and finals respectively, John Isner and Riley Opelka arrived in Cincinnati in the wee hours of Monday morning and made their way to Dunkin' Donuts with mixed results. And then there was an, actually a Dunkin' Donuts that was open. and drive through drive through and the guy was nice enough to give me some... He gave some John food. hot food, but for me, there was only donuts available. <laughs> right behind me. Yeah, it was right behind him. He goes, he asked for a hot sandwich and... Yeah, asked for just a no sausage, egg, and, and cheese. And I literally just and he's eating, yeah, sausage, egg, and cheese and <laughs> hash browns. I'm having to go donut only. Number five. We've got another loaded day of play headed your way, but we're keeping an especially close eye on 17-year-old Coco Goff's first ever singles match in Cincinnati, as she takes on tricky qualifier and four-time Grand Slam doubles champion, Shea Su Wei. Shea is looking to take out her third straight American in four days at the Linder Family Tennis Center. That's all for this edition of Top 5. Catch the full order of play at WSOpen.com and follow us on our social channels for all the latest.